Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Pure Farming 2018. So Farmer Brian back with you today and who knows what we're in for. Let's take a quick look at our notifications and oh we've got some pigs that are ready to go. So it's been a few days uh, unfortunately since I've been able to play the game so I'm going to have to take a minute here and see exactly what kind of farming we've got that needs to be done. I know I am anxious to get uh, expanding and pick up another uh, location to, to sort of start a foothold in that area. Uh, it's all about expanding out and, and buying more stuff that'll make us more money and ultimately allow us to have more fun. So it looks like we've got some pigs we need to sell. Uh, let's get out of there and actually, let's see. Let's leave, let's leave that there for now. Let's take a little jog. First thing in the morning about nine o'clock now I had to fast forward it to about nine o'clock because frankly it was kind of dreadful early in the morning so I needed it to be a little bit brighter out maybe it'll make me a little bit happier uh, instead of having to do all this work first thing in the morning that just that's just a real downer to get started first thing in the morning with uh, dealing with the pigs and the cows and stuff so I thought we'd wait till about nine o'clock and see what we can get done this way all right so we don't really need to be standing here to sell but we do need to be standing here to buy so i thought we'd go ahead and work our way over here let's go into our menu and let's sell some animals all right so we'll come into the pigs and yes eight hundred dollars a piece we will take it so 20 pigs to be sold here take care of that and then 10 more at our other location for now all right, can you let me out of there? Thank you. And let's spam that button for 20 more pigs. And get our piglets up and going. Let's make sure they're over here. Yep, there they are. Poor things are only going to get to live about three days. Now, I'm sure that is not the way they, th they saw things going. All right. More fodder. And we are off and running again. Let's see. Let's press E, go to our cars, because we just so happen to have a car stationed right next to the other pigsty. And let's go ahead, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this one. I just now realized we have just enough money to do so, so we're going to press B and then finalize that. I'm going to back away, make sure we don't get stuck in any side of the construction. There we go. Okay, now we can get all 20 piglets in there. Every time I say piglet, part of me is regressing back to my childhood and waiting for Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore to hop out around the corner somewhere. All right, so that takes care of our pig situation. What about under notifications? What do we have left? All right, so we've got some resources in our orchard. So now we get into some of the big money. All right, let's go ahead and come back out of there. And let's see, where do we have parked? Now I know we've got, yeah, there we go. We've got, I knew we had something parked right over here, but right now it is attached to the water trailer. And yeah, there's our other trailer. I was beginning to think maybe I had left The other trailer at uh, the other orchard but it looks like I was a little bit better than that not much but a little bit anyway all right let's hook up here so today is money earning day so we've already used part of that money to upgrade with the pigs and the pigs are just a tremendous source of income um, I only wish that we had the ability to have more pigs in each pig stock because that way we could earn even more money from them. Kind of like with the rabbits. I mean, the rabbits are great early game, but let's face it, they don't give us enough money. So if we could have a whole bunch more rabbits in there, then that is effectively a, a great way to double your money every day. Alright, so our, wait a minute, 
Wait, what just happened there? Did y'all see that just like I did? Look at the bottom of the screen. I'm shocked right now. Was there a secret update to this game that I was unaware of? I did not see anything through Steam. But there are... There's a HUD back at the bottom telling me about all of the things, all the buttons I can press to make things happen. It had disappeared, unfortunately, for several days. Or at least it seems like several days. And now it's back? Am I to believe that this is 100% back? I sure hope so. Look at that. They're all back. H to sell. Yes, please. I no longer have to remember what the buttons were because that was just way too much work. Let's face it. I mean, I can't be required to do things like remembering what to do and how to do it. I mean, we just can't be responsible for that kind of thing. All right, so as I was about to say, before I was so wonderfully interrupted by the fact that we have buttons back at the bottom of the screen and actual control mappings, is that our we should be back to our normal harvest. There was no rain that washed away our spray level and, and bad things like that. So the rain has stayed away, which has been sort of, it's sort of become the running joke in this game that... You know, when the rain comes, it just ruins everything because you can't harvest crops. You can't spray in the orchards. I mean, it basically ruins a whole lot that's going on in the game. All right, we'll pick up our final harvest there. I still want to hit the left shift bar every time because that, well, it used to be the, um, well, I just lost my train of thought totally did just totally lost my train of thought that's a cruise control that's what i was trying to think we'll get there it is very early in the morning i apologize both in real life as well as in game time but yeah it used to be cruise control and i have continually forgotten to go in and remap that it's still there but they for whatever reason removed the default uh, setting of of the shift so now I need to go in and set that back up again. All right, so right now I am extremely happy. I, I was totally not expecting that the buttons would be back at the bottom of the screen again. Again, I didn't see anything, any up, more updates from Steam. I know we had one a couple of days ago. I think it seems, I think it was on Monday where there was a very small update, like 10 megabytes or something. And I never did see any any release notes about that one, so I wasn't sure what was in there. But I had played the game on Monday and didn't see any difference, or at least anything that was was very obvious to me. So I don't know. Maybe Steam slipped in a, a stealthy update on me when I wasn't paying attention. Either way, I'm happy about it. I'll take it. All right, so we're back up to $21,800 at this point. And, of course, we've got a lot more harvesting to do, a lot more money to take in. And as we continue through the series, we continue to expand our income base. And, of course, we expand our way across the map in doing so. And eventually... We are going to expand our way across the map and get started with some field work. Because I am very much looking forward to that. I've been doing some testing on the side, just seeing how things work out. And as I've mentioned previously, I mean, it's we're at a point where I think we could do okay with it. But it would still require some babysitting on our part to make sure that because uh, I've seen certain things like if you start the AI doing something whether it's cultivating or or plowing or whatever they have a tendency to go over the same area the same row multiple times I've also noticed that they leave the edges undone until the very end uh, for example if I 
start out my worker at the very edge of uh, the particular field. And I mean like actually overhanging the edge so that, uh, and I generally start off on the, on the left hand side, I would actually start the implement so that I know it's not getting its full working area and part of it is hanging off the area on the left just to make sure that uh, we don't miss that little bit and every time that worker will move over to the right and miss ha about half of a row uh, if, you, if you're talking in working width it will miss about half of a row and then at the very end have to come back and get it if it comes back to get it so it can be a little aggravating for no reason other than just that that's enough so I'm not sure why it wants to do that it's almost as if it's expecting me to start the worker off the edge of of the map itself or for the field and then so it's got to go to the right just to get on the I don't know it's it's weird when it happens you try to help these workers out and they just disobey every time all right so this should be our our final load for these particular harvests and sure enough there we go so we got our normal harvest amount we're up to 35,200 as of now and I am very happy about that so we got some decisions to make and of course we still got one more art, uh, orchard to to deal with and make a little money off of that one as well but we got some decisions to make because we're gonna have enough money and we need to talk about where we're going to expand to obviously if we take a look over to our right there are some solar panels we could purchase right there for 50000 That would give us about $2,200 a day, which is always nice. But uh, because I think it's pretty well balanced, you pay 50000 you get 2200 per day in return. But that's definitely not as much as you can get uh, if you factor out the per day profits of other things on the map. That poor road sign back there, that's one of the few times that we haven't hit it going by, I think. And I've got something in mind I want to show you guys whenever we get there, because we got some more stuff to do. Not only do we have one more orchard to get money from and, and pick up. Oh, look out now. Look out now. Do we have somebody? I know there was somebody back there. Can I see them? Yeah, we can just barely catch a glimpse through all the trees. Somebody honking their horn at me because we were going too slow down the road. Ah, uh, it does feel like home. No place like home. Alright, so we get this sold and then we need to head over to our other orchard. But yeah, we've got some other money to make. We've got some more, if I remember correctly, and that's saying a lot at this point. If I remember correctly, we have uh, milk that needs to be delivered and I believe slurry that needs to be delivered and sold. But first, we need to back out and where am I going we're going the wrong way again it's early in the morning all right so let's click on our shed teleport I mean we've got a windmill right here uh, that is just staring at me that it's unfinished and just daring me to purchase it which I'm okay with because it will win I'll eventually go over there and purchase it just because I want to All right, here we go. And once again, I'll take care of uh, the spraying of the orchards as well as the uh, taking care of the water needs and all that as I was headed right toward the water right then, you can tell. I'll take care of those off camera so you guys don't have to worry about watching me take care of that process. Although it is quite soothing. It's almost like getting a massage whenever, whenever you can do that. Because you get a chance to relax as you're going about four miles an hour through the orchards and you can just hear the gentle spray, the mist. Pretty relaxing. Another good reason why I don't need to put it on camera because we may all go to sleep if I do that. At least if I fall asleep off camera, then you, know, you guys don't have to worry about a three hour long video of nothing but spraying sounds and 
me snoring. All right, so we got our one full trailer load, and then we'll have just a touch over that for our second load. Let's see, anybody coming? No, nobody's coming, which is kind of a shame. I was looking forward to hearing somebody uh, honking the horn at me again. And one request I would have for the developers, it, it would be nice if the work, I hear music. Where do I hear music from? I turned off the music. Is that the drive-in? Here we are. It is almost 9.30 in the morning in game time, and the drive-in is throwing down. There must have been some sort of party that the farmers were not invited to. Because I can't imagine it's over here at the fodder company. I don't, I don't think that's what they do over here. They're probably like me. They're too busy working. They got to do something with all these apples I keep bringing. Apples and pears and everything else. All right, so once again, you can see that the apples bring us a little bit less income than do the pears. All right, let's see if this is indeed the drive-in. Let's drive over a little closer. It is the drive-in. Man. Wow. Those guys are, I mean, again, 9.30 in the morning to be partying that, that hard. That's that's unexpected. Some of us have work to do. Now, you wait and do that 9.30 at night, then we're in business. But not 9.30 in the morning. we got stuff to do. All right, let's pick up the last of it and once again we get basically as far as volume basically the same amount as we do on I believe it's field number two on the map field one is a little bit bigger and gives us a little bit more yield but I believe it's field two just that is about the size of this particular orchard and gives us essentially the same volume between between the pears and the apples Right, we've got our milkshake bar up there, which is where we can take our milk if we wanted to, which is a little bit farther away than the nearest location for that. All right, let's try to go around the other way this time. They just don't give us enough room here. I mean, imagine if I had the tractor trailer truck and in the trailer with me. Ooh, am I going to make it? Yeah, we're going to just barely make it. There we go. All right, so that takes care of that. And let's pull off to the side here. Let's see. All right, what's next on our agenda? So notifications. Oh, wow, look at that. We've taken care of everything as far as what needs to be sold right now. All right, we've got the cow barn with 18% milk in it right now. And, yeah, that's about what we need in order to sell it and I again I think the same thing is the case for the slurry I think there's enough slurry in there for a a full tank of that which means even more money so very nice um, I tell you what let's go ahead back over to I'm gonna send this tractor back over to the other area because this is where I've already got what I need over there okay yeah that's I mean this is where our sprayer is already at all right so let's get out of that and we need to head back to our main farm area because we need to pick up let's grab our milk tank here we need to go sell some milk now right, let's make sure our our bucket is far enough off the ground, otherwise we'll be digging in and flipping the tractor and all that milk and that just that's not a sight anybody needs to see. Alright. I've been
been toying with the idea of doing some streaming, maybe a little bit on the weekends or maybe during a weeknight or something like that. I haven't decided, but I would like the idea because basically this is a great game for streaming as we just go through all of the stuff that needs to get done. I mean, 30 minutes in a video for this game goes by so quickly. And I know I could edit and do a lot more editing than I do in these videos, but that kind of defeats the point of what I'm trying to do in the videos if I edit a bunch of it out because it's the whole point of this is about uh, letting you guys see just sort of how the game plays so I don't want to edit all that stuff out all right let's make sure let's see yeah we need to head over to the creamery let's get out of there yeah 30 minutes goes by extremely quickly and of course, one of the things I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to the day when there's more automation in the game, where we can automate things and have workers do do things like uh, even selling the the pigs. Just as soon as they are matured, have them taken care of by the AI. Again, it's not about how much time it takes us to do it; it's about growing our farm. And at some point, there's just more stuff than we can get done. So having more automation, and that'll come likely through modding, if they will open up the game. We just need the developers to really open up the game and, and give the modders an opportunity to get in there. I've already got a list of, let's see, what did I do with my modding list? Let's take a look through here. Because as I play the game, I've been writing down a list, and I've got a list of 11 mods that just need to happen. Now, most of these are pretty simple. They're not real complex. Of course, one of those is course play, which is obviously um, quite a bit more extensive than most of what I'm thinking about. But the rest of the stuff I wrote down are just things that would be quality of life improvements in the game, things that would just help us out and make some of these things go a little bit quicker. Uh, it sure would be nice to be able to hire more workers to do more things. Because again, it's not about certain things are easy or hard for us to do. It's not about that. It's not even really about the fact that we enjoy or don't enjoy doing these things. It's about being able to get more done so that we can continually grow and eventually own everything on this map, or close to it at least. All right, let's get everything in here. Stop. Told me to stop. I'm stopping. Unloading all this wonderful milk into the creamery. Now, I'm not sure how we're unloading anything right now because I don't see it. I don't see it. It's not like there is, you know, we're unloading into the silo or something. It looks like we just dumped it on the ground. But, hey, that's where the creamery wants it. That's where we're going to put it. All right, so we took care of that, and once again, that doesn't take very long at all to get done with. Another very nice shed here. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, I'm thinking we got a shed right here. And that shed, hold on, let's get over here. Yeah, we're going to buy this shed. Because when I see sheds now, I think, like if we pull up our map here, I think about transportation, very quick transportation. So we could fill up our milk over here and then teleport over to there. Yeah, I like that. So we may start purchasing more sheds around the map as we expand. That way we can, I mean, yeah, it costs you a little bit of money every time you do it, but uh, that is the least of my worries. Ooh, look out there, milk tank sliding all over the place. Yeah, and this time we we'll go ahead and drive it back. It's not that far. So it's not like it's a huge deal, but it never hurts to have those options there. All right, but now we need to come back in and we need to take care of the slurry. So we're going to get quite a bit of money out of today's activities. Quite a bit of money. And before it's all said and done, 
we're going to look into where we can expand to next because I've got some ideas and I want to see if we can make them happen. Probably going to end up meaning that our video is going to run a little bit long. But that's okay. we got stuff to do. All right. So let's press T. And give it a second. Make sure. Yeah, there we go. So we're unhooked. Now we need to come over and grab the milk tank, which, by the way, is very hard to tell from the water tank, just from a glance. Okay. Let's run into the milk tank. Try not to puncture it. Or excuse me, not the milk tank, the uh, slurry tank. I definitely don't want to get those two confused. Because if you put the wrong thing in the wrong tank, that's going to be bad. And somebody's going to be letting you know about it very soon. All right, so let's head over to the slurry. And again, I think we have a full tank with this as well. Liquid fertilizer 22. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got enough for a full load here as well. Where is my R? Transfer. Alright, let's pull up the map and this will lead us right over to where I wanted to be for our possible expansion, but we'll talk about that a little bit more once we get over there. Alright, so we got full load of slurry and this is going to be some good money. Once we get over there, that's going to be some nice money. Considering the source of the income. All right, we may do the same thing as what we just did with that other... That other shed. We may purchase another shed along the way. See what we got over here. All right, but we're headed there. 16 miles an hour. We are crushing it. Just another reason why it would be good to have uh, maybe some other types of trucks that could go faster, just simply for speed. Things like the the tractor trailer, for instance which I definitely want to purchase at some point. Definitely got to have that. All right, so there's our, our shed that we purchased. And, oh, I see another shed up here on the left. Uh, we'll have to see if that's the closest one. Because, of course, we're going on the other side of this rock divide which basically divides the the map and by the way I don't think I've noticed just how huge that satellite dish is up there I mean is this SETI I mean are we searching for for intelligent life in outer space with that thing because I'm pretty sure that's not direct TV I mean my goodness that thing is monstrous I've definitely never seen anything that large in real life not even close. Alright, let's see. Is there a shed right up here somewhere? I gotta think there is. I mean, there's a barn right there. Alright, come on. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. There's gotta be a shed somewhere in the... in the vicinity. I'm not seeing one, though. At least not nearby. I see one over there in the distance, but that's not all that close. I know there are a couple over here in the area, just over this hillside next to the biogas facility. But yeah, I'm just not seeing a whole lot. I was hoping for one, you know, like right here, right over here next to our, which by the way, these are our solar panels. We own these. They're giving us like $980 a day, I think. Something like that. Alright, so we've got a shed that we can just see just straight ahead there at the bottom of the hill. Ah, here we go. Let's get up here. Go 
ahead and sell this and there's no animation of any kind yeah we're just sort of sitting here and by magic we have sold all of the slurry $2,800 thank you very much all right so how do we get over here so there's an industrial greenhouse right here which is huge by the way I mean compared to these other greenhouses it's huge I wish it had the output that was that was huge in comparison but it's nowhere near that much much as you would expect anyway all right so let's see where do I want to be let's take a look where are we anyway there we are all right I want to go over here so yeah we're going the right way we're just gonna keep right on going to the right Yeah, we got our nice water over here. Is this a water station over here somewhere? What is this? What is this? Is this a is this just power? Yeah, it's just power station. Okay. Alright. So now we can see here is another much bigger area for the cows. We've got Yeah, there's a lot going on over here. Is there water? I don't see it. Oh, we got us a house over here. Do we get the house too? If we purchase over here, there's our slurry tank in the ground. There is. All right, we can see on the mini map in the bottom left that is for the cows. That's our cow barn. Got our little road over there. Okay, nice little bridge. I'm, that's going to be our milk silo. Oh, we got some bales over here that we can sell. Okay, let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. There's our manure area. Right, we'll park over here. Okay, I like this nice little area here. Got our nice got our silo over there for the grain. Now, by the way, uh, I had mentioned in one of the previous videos, but we hadn't actually done it in one of the videos yet. And that is you can walk up to a bale and press T to sell it. Now, I'm going to hold off on that because actually you can use these. Uh, this is precisely what you want to use as food for the cows. But, of course, we would need some more equipment to be able to, um, to work with the bales. But let's walk right over here and there we go we want to buy this for 25 grand absolutely we do. there we go so we got okay it looks the same as the other you can see our we get our silo there and so the upgrade is 50,000 of course we don't quite have that just yet not quite yeah, I'll tell you what, we're not going to put anything... Do we want to put something in here just yet? And the reason I'm saying that... Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do that. The reason I'm saying that is I don't want to... Once we come back next time, and obviously we'll have more than 50000 and we'll want to do the upgrades, I don't want to have a mixture of calves that we've purchased on one day and then add some more calves later on after we upgrade that we've purchased a few days later, and that'll mess up the whole timing of everything. And, and I won't know, you know, when is the perfect time to sell any of these, these cows and everything. So we'll just deal with this for now. And we'll probably sell out these calves one or two times before we get into the milk business over here in this area. But this is a nice little area over here. Looks like we've got some businesses in the background there, more silos. And we get a house with this one. We get a house now from this house. What can I do? Can I sleep through the night at this house? I cannot. No, I cannot. Okay, so they don't want me sleeping through the night from this house. So apparently we don't get this house. But yeah, very nice. We're going to have uh, plenty of more room for the cows right over here. We don't have any out there now because we don't have our fully upgraded uh, cow shed at this part. All right, but this is nice. This is nice. We're, we're expanding out. Through the map, if I can get my guy to turn around and look at the camera, it's very rude not to look at the camera when you're talking. So this is a very nice area. we got our nice stream here in behind. A very nice scenic view. I like it. I like it. Very nice. So that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we'll continue our gameplay series of Pure Farming 2018.